Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Sridam and Ahmed Adli. This is the game from World Blitz Championship that was played in Dubai in 2014. Sridam had white pieces and he started with d4. Ahmed Adli played knight to f6, c4, c5, d5, Benoni transposing to Benko Gambit. Pawn takes pawn, a6. B takes on a6, d6, knight to c3, g6, e4, this is all the main line. Bishop to g7, bishop to b5 check. Knight from b to d7, queen to e2. Ahmed Adli castled kingside. Knight to f3, queen to a5, pinning the knight. Unpinning. Bishop takes on a6, a4, rook from f to b8, and Sriram castled kingside, knight to e8, rook from f to e1, knight to c7, rook to a3, queen to b6, rook to b3, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, rook to a5, pressure is on the pawn, on b5. Sridham played h4. It is black to move. Black wants to win the pawn on b5. How to accomplish this? Well, this is how he's done it. Bishop takes on c3 removing the defender of the pawn on b5 but the cost is weaknesses on dark squares around his king the game continued pawn takes bishop rook takes on b5 winning the pawn material is equal rook takes rook queen takes rook c4 queen to b3. The dust has settled down a little bit. Black first sacrificed the pawn to activate his pieces and now he got his material back. Why to move? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white. Look at the black king. He has no pieces around him. How can white take the advantage of that? What is the first move? This is the first move. The perfect move. Black played knight to b6. The obvious one doesn't work, and that is knight takes on e5. Then knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, queen takes on e5, attacking the knight on c7, and more. Queen to b6. And now, white can continue perhaps with bishop to h6 or bishop to c3 threatening a checkmate and after f6 queen takes pawn on e7 white is winning so black played knight to b6 pawn takes pawn pawn takes pawn white to move what is the best move now what would you do Queen to e7 is the best move, the move played in the game, invading the 7th rank, attacking the knight, and perhaps the next could be knight to g5. We have knight from c to e8. Why to move? What would you do? Both knight to g5 and bishop to h6 are winning.
in the game we have bishop to h6 but i really like this knight to g5 continuation then the most logical move is rook to f8 and now this is lovely knight to e6 and after pawn takes knight then bishop to h6 threatening queen takes rook and after rook to f7 check and checkmate and there is another variation so after knight to e6 is played black can defend like this knight to d7 and now this is very nice knight takes rook knight takes knight white move can you see the winning combination for white queen takes knight check king takes queen check king must go to g8 and now rook to e8 check mate in the game we have bishop to h6 very strong so strong that black couldn't think black played g5 and resigned black resigned in view of this continuation queen takes on g5 check and after king to h8 queen to g7 check mate very nice isn't it and did you find that strong move in this position e5 if you did congratulations and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now